Hey, this is Austin from Teton Gravity Research. Today we're going to talk about 4K camera basics. No matter what 4K camera you choose, one of the most important aspects of filmmaking is capturing the proper exposure. You can have creative liberty with exposure, but you need to know the basics regardless of which resolution you're filming in. In order to achieve the right exposure every time, you need to understand these three principles. Aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. Aperture refers to the amount of light being allowed through the iris of the lens. It is measured in f-stops and ranges incrementally between 1 and 22. The lower f-stops allow more light to hit the film sensor at a given time and equate to a shallower depth of field, while the higher f-stops allow less light to hit the sensor and equate to a greater depth of field. Shutter speed refers to the amount of time that each individual frame is exposed. Shutter speed can have a very noticeable effect on the look of your video. A fast shutter speed, such as 1 500th of a second, will produce a series of very sharp frames that have a crisper look when played back. A slower shutter speed, such as 1 50th of a second, will produce a series of slightly blurred frames that have a much smoother look. If you are planning on using frame grabs as still photos, you will want to use a fast shutter speed to help increase the sharpness of each individual frame. ISO is the level of sensitivity to available light of your camera. The lower the ISO number, the less sensitive it is to light, while a higher ISO number increases the sensitivity of your camera. With increased sensitivity, your camera sensor can capture footage in low light environments without having to use additional light. But higher sensitivity comes at an expense. It can add grain or noise to the video. The important thing to understand here is that each step between the numbers effectively doubles the sensitivity of your sensor. When there's plenty of light, you should always use the lowest ISO to retain the most detail and to have the highest image quality. One of the easiest ways to tell if your image is correctly exposed is by using your camera's histogram. A histogram measures an image's brightness. The left side represents the image's shadows and the right side is the highlights. A nicely exposed image sits somewhere in the middle, giving enough information for white, mid, and black tones. Another critical tool when shooting in 4K is white balance. As the name suggests, white balance adjusts the color temperature in your image. How does it do this? It adds the opposite color to the image in an attempt to bring the color temperature back to neutral. Instead of the whites appearing blue or orange, they should appear white after correctly balancing an image. To control the color balance, avoid using auto white balance and set to manual as much as possible. When it comes to choosing a frame rate on Sony 4K cameras, like the 4K Sony Action Cam, RX100 Mark IV, the A7S Mark II, or the FS5, you have the option to shoot in either 24p or 30p at a 4K resolution. Now that most content is delivered online, we recommend using 24p as your frame rate for optimum results. Sony's 4K video lineup has a wide range of options, from smaller point-and-shoot cameras all the way to professional cameras with removable lenses. Determining what your needs are will narrow down which camera is right for you. Are you traveling and need something light and fast? Then the RX100 Mark IV is as small as a smartphone and maintains incredible 4K quality for all of your on-the-go situations. Maybe you want something small enough to travel with, but has multiple lens options, like the Sony a7S Mark II. It's small, light, and great for documentary shooting. Its large sensor and impressive ISO capabilities are especially handy in low light scenarios, like dim interiors or night shots. If you're ready for a professional camera, the Sony FS5 offers XLR audio inputs compatibility with Sony's lineup of interchangeable lenses, internal ND filters, and functions to dial in the perfect look for your 4K film. When choosing a memory card while shooting in 4K, a faster write speed is required. Sony has a couple of different memory card options, but to get the best quality, we recommend cards that are rated as a Class 10 U3. Be sure to get a card with at least 64 gigabytes of memory, which will record about 40 minutes of 4K footage. Join us for the next episode where we head into the field and show you how to apply these camera basics to your filmmaking.